Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katniss Rose and I'm here with some exciting park updates. Most of this video is going to be centered around Walt Disney World as that is the next park that is scheduled to reopen and has submitted plans. So it's very exciting news here and I will be able to walk you through most of the information that we know so far. First off, Walt Disney World is reopening in two stages. Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom will be reopening first, July 11th, and then Hollywood Studios and Epcot will be reopening July 15th. They've stated that they're going to be doing a soft opening before those official dates. Uh, so far, the only group that's confirmed for those are cast members. We also don't know dates on that as well. Now, Walt Disney World's reopening was a little later than a lot of people anticipated. Part of that is a possibility that Disneyland and Disney World may be reopening at the same time. Now, this is unconfirmed information. However, I think it would be fitting for them to reopen around the same time because they did close within a few days of each other. Now moving on to more information that we know, just like in Shanghai, you'll need reservations in order to get into Disney World and that includes annual pass holders in addition to people purchasing tickets. At the moment, no additional purchasing of tickets is available. We don't know when that will be opening back up. However, Disney World has stated that they will be giving annual pass holders the first pass at getting those reservations. Another item to address are the reservations that were made before the parks closed for future dates. So that includes dining reservations, fast passes, as Walt Disney World, you can book your fast passes in advance, and then also other um, things like Savi's Workshop, Oka's Cantina, out in Galaxy's Edge. Disney World has canceled all of those, even for annual pass holders, just because of the reservation system and then also giving everybody a fair chance at those because with limited attendance, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get into the parks that day. Now, in terms of fast passes, not only have all of the previously booked fast passes been canceled, however, it doesn't appear that fast passes will be used moving forward, at least for the foreseeable future. Now, for the fast passes, they're probably not using those at the moment because of the social distancing, they need that extra space in the fast pass queue in order to keep everybody, you know, six feet apart and utilize all of that space so they can get as many people in as they can, but keeping everybody at a safe distance. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of new signs in the parks, a lot of things where you can and can't sit, can and can't stand, and just updated information and reminders for people in order to stay safe. So um, it'll just be interesting to see how many of these signs are going to be out there and where all they're going to be placed. Another thing that they have mentioned is there's going to be some relaxation zones. So those are areas where you can take your mask off and just relax for a little bit. So being able to have areas where you can take those off, it's going to be, no pun intended, a breath of fresh air. Now finally, what the one item that I thought was the most interesting and the most exciting is Disney World is going to be having a social distancing squad. So in the Disney fashion, they're going to have, I don't know if it's going to be one group or multiple groups, but probably some people out there going out entertaining people, but also re-emphasizing the importance of social distancing. And so rather than take it in a militaristic approach, of course Disney is going to do it in a fun way. So the way I see it, I don't think we have any information on it just yet, but I would assume there'd be some singing and dancing involved. Now that's all the news and updates I have for you so far. It's really exciting to see Disney World opening back up and hopefully we'll be hearing from Disneyland soon. But until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and just continue to be kind to each other. And I will be back again soon. Like and subscribe and have a magical day. Bye!